hey everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video if you're new here for the first time my name is tmr and over here we talk reactions and reviews thank you so much for clicking on this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's go what's goody everyone how's everyone doing i hope everybody is a-ok -okay. that's in the sounds of my voice y'all today i'm bringing you a little different type of video because your girl really is not feeling like being on the camera today so i hope the memes that i put in this video will suit you guys and make you feel like you listening and looking at tmr all right, so what I want to say before we get started with this video, I want to say shout out to everybody that comes through and watches my video. Y'all, I really love the support that y'all give me out here because I do understand that there's a lot of people talking about the things that I talk about on this channel and y'all can go watch a plethora of other people, but you decide to come by here and hang out with me, even if it's only for 20 minutes. So shout out to you, sis and bro i really do appreciate you and i also want to say shout out to everybody that comments in these videos like y'all be coming through with the conversation okay and i like the way that when people come and and talk in these videos and you know converse back and forth with each other for the most part all of y'all are very respectful you guys respect each other's thoughts and opinions even if they don't align with what you're thinking you guys are respectful for, with that and i really really do appreciate that and you know I just shout out to y'all okay because y'all are truly the real mvps of this channel because without you all there would be no me all right all right y'all so let's get into this video i want to start off talking you know we we've talked a lot about strong mommy chrissy some of y'all probably like lord have mercy her again yes sis her again okay and the reason why i'm talking about this today you guys because i've been doing a lot of thinking right i've been doing a lot of thinking about why we discuss this woman like why why do we talk about this woman and i'm getting ready to get to my point of the reason why i am posing this question you know for the most part you guys a lot of people love strong mommy chrissy and a lot of people dislike strong mommy chrissy okay for the most part it's the way about these three mommies that we talk about even jazz life and olivia's life or Liv's life you know a lot of people like these women and a lot of people just despise these women okay but i'm gonna talk about chrissy because i really feel like out of those three women she really gets the the hub of the backlash right she really gets the big bulk of it and so i was thinking today and i'm just like i mean what is it about this girl is it because she's a mom of so many children um is it because she has you know several different fathers for the children and y'all i'm not saying that shade in the girl like she's even said that herself she's addressed that issue i'm like what is it about this girl and you know what i got to thinking today y'all i what i really got to thinking today was you know strong mommy chrissy is a single mom on the platform and she represents i guess she's trying to represent single mom life okay for the most part the majority of these women are um although Liv's life is married but when she first came to the platform she was a single mom she was dating a guy that she had kids by whatever and then we know jasmine's situation as well so you know in this area of youtube these are the three mommies that a lot of people discuss watch and talk about and i i got to thinking about chrissy and i'm like but, but what is it like why do people despise this lady because I, I really feel like although she gets a lot of love she gets a lot of hate too you know and I, I just started thinking I said you know what when, when I look at her channel for the most part and I'm, I'm just gonna talk about her right now when I look at this girl's channel, I, you know, she's a mom of, of a lot of children, okay? She's a single mom. And for the most part, a lot of the people that watch her are either single moms or moms that are married, but they relate to her because she's a mother of children. And she has a lot, of, she has a really big audience of women who have just as many children as her, if not more. And when you watch her, you you know, for a lot of people, they sit and they think, you know, a lot of people 
or a lot of moms, you know, we're working, we're going to school, we're trying to do things to better our situation, in turn will better the situation of the children that we're raising, right? And then we, we, you know, we're out here hustling. You know, a lot of people are having to work two jobs. Some people are trying to work a full-time job and go to school full-time. And it's a lot to manage trying to work and go to school or just to work period and maintain your job life, your mom life. And if you, if you can squeeze it in your personal life, right? So, you know, me, myself, raising my kids, y'all, I, I went to school. Um, I didn't finish my degree, but I'm trying to finish it. But I went to school. I, I always worked, sometimes worked two jobs. Um, and just, it was just busy for me. My life was always busy, busy, busy. Because having four children and trying to have a life outside of my mom life was very difficult for me. So, and I know a lot of women, a lot of you out here can contest to that. You, you can relate to that type of life. So, you, you know, we all are living and having things. You know, a lot of us got our own homes or apartments or, or cars or, you know, and we, get, we acquire these things by doing what? Working, working hard outside the home. But then when you look at Strong Mommy Chrissy, you know, she's managing to live a lifestyle similar to the women who get up and go hustle and hit that clock every day. And I think a lot of people look at that and they feel a little, I'm going to say envious, right? Because this girl has figured out a way to make just as much money as women who are leaving the home every day, going to a job or sometimes even two jobs. She's managed to do it by sitting right at the house. Now, y'all don't don't get upset when I say that, okay? Because I know a lot of y'all right now say, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, TMI. I'm not jealous of her. Since I didn't say, at the end of the day, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But we do know there are a lot of women out here. I'm going to use this term that people love to use on YouTube. Hate on that girl because she has figured out a way to do what a lot of us aren't able to do. You know? Now... She's been able to build this platform, obviously, of exposing herself and exposing her life. And I know a lot of y'all sitting right now saying, yeah, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sit up here and spill my guts and tell all my personal business and tell all my children's personal business and tell all my man's personal business just so I can get somebody to come watch my channel. And you know what, sis? I'm with you. I'm with you when you're right. OK, because at the end of the day, it's a choice right it's it's not mandated if you are a person who don't want to get on here and spill your guts um in order for somebody to watch your channel or click your click your video or whatever obviously that's your choice that's what you chose to do and and you and you don't want to do that but she's managed to do it and the reason why i'm saying this because you know Although she's chose to do what she's doing, like at some at one point, Chrissy was working. But I guess as the more she started having children, she started figuring like it's costing me more to leave the house to go work a job. Let me figure out a way where I can be at home, watch my children and still make money. But what I think the problem lies with her is. When you're watching Chrissy, you, you're seeing a, a, a single black woman, you know, raising kids and obviously making what we would think is mistakes or some error in judgment. Right. And for a lot of us, we're looking like, whoa, wait a minute, sis. Wait a minute. Don't do that, because if you do that, this is going to happen. Right. But then you're watching her and you're thinking this and for a lot of y'all y'all telling her this y'all dming her you're snapchatting her you're emailing her you're leaving comments in her videos but you feel like yeah you're not getting through and then some of y'all watching her and y'all just don't give a damn what she does because you don't care because it ain't your life right but it's just it just seems like chrissy should care more than the people who watch her care and I, 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 I'm watching a woman that obviously that I feel has a lot of potential, right? Has a lot of potential, has a lot of guts to get out here and put the things that she has put out here, you know? Um, and she, to me, I feel like she, she's taking it for granted, right? 
I don't really feel like Chrissy really realizes the potential money maker that she has, you know, or that she's getting this money from this YouTube channel or the YouTube channels. Cause you know, she has what three channels now. I don't really think she's really understanding what she has there. And I think to me, you guys, when I watch Chrissy, I feel like Chrissy is, is she's just living in the moment. I don't, to me, I just feel like this girl doesn't have a projected plan. Because, you know, for the most of us, I know I did. When I was raising my kids, when they were still young at home, I always tried to think ahead of what was going on, right? I, I didn't think about, you know, what we're going to do next week. When I would come into the year, the January, the beginning of the year, I would try to plan my year out you know what we talk to you guys we call new year's resolutions but i would just try to put out some goals that i was trying to acquire to make my situation better than in turn will make my my whole family situation better but y'all when i watch chrissy i just don't really see that you know i really don't see that and i know this girl gets a lot of hate and i really feel like because people are not understanding why are you making such careless errors and you are a mother, one, and then two, you are a mother of so many children, right? I, I just really feel like people are like, girl, what are you doing over there? And then I know a lot of y'all is like, just leave her alone. That's her business. Let her live her life. And we look, of course it's her business. Of course we letting her live her life. We can't do nothing but let her live her life. But when she brings it on a platform for the entire world to see, it's no longer her business. She just made it everybody else's business. And you're going to do like anybody else. You're going to have thoughts and opinions, right? You're going to have thoughts and opinions. And I really feel like the more you hear people talk about this stuff, sometimes the conversation gets a little twisted and it comes off of people are hating on this girl and it's just really people giving judgment and not really harsh judgment but just judgment as being a woman and it doesn't matter if you're a black woman a white woman or any woman of color just being a woman period we just want women to know better because when you know better you do what you do better y'all I just I just really feel like you know, I, I I wonder if Chrissy really thinks like what's going to happen here in the next five years. And you guys, my conversation is a little different because obviously I'm older than Chrissy, right? I've, I've been there, done that. I was her age years ago, right? Not many years ago, but I was her age years ago. And I'm just thinking like, does she think five years ahead of the time? Where heck, does she even think? two years ahead of the time I just really feel like that girl is just living in the moment and to me that to me personally that's a reckless behavior to have especially when you're a mother because it's not just your life it's their life too and the error and judgment that she makes affects everybody it just doesn't affect her and I would think Chrissy she seems like you know, an intelligent woman, I, I believe she thinks that, but when she comes on her camera and the actions and the things that she says and does, doesn't appear that she's living like that. I, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Make sure you leave your comments down below about what you're thinking. But I just really feel like for, for a lot of the single moms or moms period that watch Chrissy, they're just looking at this girl and, and they're just looking at her and they're like, wow, like, girl, you really don't understand how good you have it. Yet you keep doing all this. You keep having all this reckless behavior, not really understanding there. Obviously, there's consequences to everything that you do right especially wrong things that you do there's severe consequences y'all i'm gonna say this too um in my video that i did um maybe when you guys hear see this video or hear this video it was probably like two days ago i did the video where i was discussing chrissy's lash line and and the other situation with this uh, pastor saying that Chrissy scammed her out $150. And I think a lot of people misunderstood what I was saying. And I wasn't downsizing or minimizing 
the reason why this woman took to a public platform to discuss her discrepancies of her and Bi- Chrissy's business transaction. I was basically like, you know, as a pastor that you say you are, like, could it have been a different way that you could have went about telling this girl, look, I gave you money to do a job and you didn't do it. Now, as I thought about that more and really thought about it, you know, yeah, YouTube doesn't have a better business bureau department, right? So a lot of times when things happen on YouTube, you can't do you can't do anything but take to the YouTube platform to discuss your discrepancies or you, or if you're disgruntled about something. That's the only way you can do it. And some people might look at you trying to publicly shame someone, but it's just like if you go to Target and you have a bad experience as Target as a guest, because you know that's what Target calls their customers guests, then you can do one or two things. You can either go to the manager and you can talk to the manager and the manager will handle it accordingly or if it doesn't happen you could potentially go to the better business bureau in the city that you live in and file an official complaint or you can go to the target website and leave a bad review but when you're dealing with youtube yeah you don't have those options there's not a manager or supervisor of youtube that you could go to and say hey Straw Mommy Chrissy, I gave her money to do a, a promotion for me and she didn't do it. So I understood where the lady was con- was coming from. I just felt like as a pastor, I guess, y'all, that's maybe my naiveness because me being brought up in the church, I just took it as a pastor. She could have went about it a different way instead of doing it like that. Like, again, but, I, you know, if this truly did happen, if this woman had a proper a business proposition with Chrissy and Chrissy took this woman money and didn't come through with the product which would have been Chrissy's video then yeah she was dead wrong for that like you don't just take people's money vicariously and not do what you're supposed to do because again you guys it makes it harder for other people you know um just here recently I have done shout out Wednesdays where I have shouted out a few YouTube channels on here and shout out to all the ladies that I did shout out on my channel um but I you know I we did our business transaction via Instagram I told them what my service was they told me you know what they needed done I told them what the fee was we we came to an agreement I gave them the date that the video would be up with their shout out in and that was the end of the day because at the I don't want to do business like that because I think of my channel as a business and I feel like a lot of the people here on this platform on this YouTube platform does not treat their YouTube channel like a business. They might want it to be a business, but they're not treating it like a business. And I think if this is a true situation, then Chrissy wasn't treating her channel like a business because we do know with reviews, uh, you can have a hundred good reviews, but that one bad review is the one everybody gonna listen to. Y'all know, but at the end of the day, when you're going to Yelp or some other or Google and you're looking for the reviews of some type of business that you're trying to either visit or deal with, you you don't really y'all don't really pay attention to the good reviews. Y'all go straight to the bad reviews, right? You want to hear what the what the bad stuff they're saying. So it's just like, did Chrissy really think about potentially the harm that she could cause for her YouTube channel? Maybe Chrissy feel like, you know, I got 130K or 129, whatever she has, and one person complaining really ain't going, you know, really ain't going to cause any problems. But in all actuality, it is because when that one person states their situation with you, the negative situation that they had with you, potentially thousands of people can hear that. And it's just going to be like Chinese telephone. It's just going to get passed on and on and on. I'm not trying to discredit the pastor for being upset about the money she gave to Chrissy for the product. And Chrissy didn't in turn give the lady the product. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not saying she's wrong for that. I just mean coming from, you know, being brought up in the church. I just didn't think people do things like that would do. A pastor would do things like that. Now, I understand that. The pastor, you know, 
is human too because I know a lot of people came in the comments like well you got to understand she's she's a human she's human first and look like as a, her being a pastor yes she's a pastor but at the end of the day you know you're still a you know you're prophesizing that you are a child of God that you are this minister of God and was that the godly thing to do that's all obviously what Chrissy did stealing is basically that's what she don't if allegedly if this is what happened it she basically stole the woman's money because the woman gave you the money to do a job and you didn't fulfill the job so that's just like stealing obviously what Chrissy did was wrong as well but like the old saying always go two wrongs don't make a right so that's all I'm saying Y'all let me know what y'all think because y'all good for letting me know what y'all think. And I'm not mad at you guys for that, you know. But what people have to also understand is, you know, these these are my thoughts and my opinions. Obviously, I'm not going to be thinking like everybody else. Or I may think similar to some of y'all or, you know, exactly like you guys. And it's okay. That's why we live in the world that we live in because everybody has freedom of speech and, and you can leave your thoughts and opinions however wherever you want to but just understand that you know I'm not trying to discredit this pastor for having her money taken from her um allegedly if that's what happened I'm just really just saying if this is the situation I just feel like as a woman of God that you could have went about it a different way y'all that's all I really was trying to say so again that's all I was trying to say so y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think. I, I just really feel like there's never going to be an end to this. You know, I understand with the YouTube platform, that's what people do here. They come and they discuss other people, be it a, another YouTuber, a celebrity, a social media influencer. That's what people do on here. They come and they, they give their thoughts and opinions, you know, vocally on these YouTube channels. I, you know, that's what they do here. Or somebody come in to show you how they cook a meal or they showing you how to, you know, a how-to video or they just come in to, you know, drop a conspiracy theory or they just come in to give you the tea or the gossip. Like, that's what YouTube is and I totally understand it and I just hope that you guys understand it. I can only speak for myself on my channel over here with TMR. Y'all, I'm, I'm not that type of person. I am the type of person where I try to think logical about a situation. Like, I'm going to come to a situation. I'm going to come at it on all different angles. I'm not just going to look at it one way. I do understand other people do do that, but that's not how I think. And just because that's how I think, it doesn't mean that's how you guys are supposed to think. And I'm not supposed to think like y'all because we. I would just assume that everybody that watches my videos is an adult and understands that we we all are not gonna think alike right so again you guys i was just really thinking about that i'm just like that girl gets so much hate on here and i you know and i just i just i just really wish she would realize that like sis you probably wouldn't get as much hate as you get if you would just change how you do things, you know, I'm not telling her to be a whole different person. Obviously, she's going to be who she is. But I just really feel like which age comes maturity. And it sh look, let me say this. It should be that way. With age comes maturity. And I just really wish that, you know, the older that she gets, the more wiser that she will become. Because, you know, we a lot of us like to say this and myself included, you know, you have kids watching you. At the end of the day, you you have children that are watching you. And I, I just hope that, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, a legend that she's got some type of drug abuse and the Chrissy does. And look again, y'all, that's allegedly I'm not saying that. I don't know what that girl got going on over there because I'm not over there doing it with her, nor am I selling it to her. So I don't know what's going on over there, but I know a lot of people are you know, assuming this is what's going on with her behavior and the reason. I'm going to tell you something, y'all, but I'm going to be real honest with you. Since I first started watching Chrissy, I have seen a change in that girl. I don't know if it was the breakup of her husband and that situation. I don't know what it is, but I really have seen a change in Chrissy. And I just pray for her betterment and obviously the tr the betterment of those children that she realizes there there are some very grave error and judgment on her behalf 
And I just hope she realizes that and tries to rectify that situation and make it a better situation for her. Because what Chrissy should always understand, and that goes for anybody, you know, your kids are all you have. Even if the fathers are in the picture, them babies were born to you. Those are your prize and possessions. And I just really feel like your kids should be your number one priority. And that should be in anything you do. You know, the way you spend your money or the decisions you make with, you know, just life itself. When you have children, you always have to put them in the forefront of the actions that you have because your actions will obviously affect the actions or the livelihood of your children. And do we, are we saying that Chrissy kids are living such a horrible life? I, I, y'all, I don't know. I can't answer that. It doesn't appear to be they're living just such a horrible life. But obviously they could be living a better one. Especially with the stability piece. I'm coming at the stability piece. I know a lot of people say she don't feed her kids. Look, y'all. I don't know what she feeds those kids. Um, you know, again, we see one or two videos where she's cooking meals. What she does in between those meals, who knows? Because we don't see that. Again, you guys, we're, we're, we're basing stuff off of one thing that we see, and we don't know everything that's going on. Y'all, and we don't. We can only assume, unless we got cameras in the walls of her home, we don't know what's going on in that girl's house. We just know what she comes on this camera and tells us or what somebody spills out here in the YouTube community. That's all we know, you guys. And a lot of times we don't know what's true or what's not true. We just watching these videos, we listening to what's going on and we going on about our business. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Let me know how you guys feel. Y'all let me know why y'all feel like Straw Mommy Chrissy get as much hate as she gets. I just really feel like at some point this has to weigh heavy on her. Y'all, I get hate nowhere near like she gets it, and it weighs on me. So I could just imagine the way she gets it, how that affects her mentally, and d do she even care? Or I, I don't know, y'all. But I would say this: if she, you know, if she wants to get on her public platform and show the things that she shows, obviously she knows the repercussions and the consequences behind doing that. I do understand people say that's her life, that's her business, and it is. It most definitely is her business because it's her situation. But when you take that, with, with some would consider personal business, and you bring it to a platform where now it's public, it's no longer your business. You just made it everybody else's business, maybe by default. But that's what you did, you know? And you, you have to assume or you have to know that people are going to comment on that. It's human nature to comment on the things that you see or hear, right? It's just like when we watch the news. When you watch the news, all of you all who watch the news, via if you watch it on your television or, or on your phone, you all have some type of reaction at that moment if you think oh my god that was so horrible or oh like we all have some type of reaction some are good reactions and some are bad reactions so when you watch these videos of these women who are vlogging their lives you're watching the videos and obviously what they want is the communication is your engagement but i know nobody wants negative engagement but they get it anyway i don't know y'all this was just on my mind. It was just a thought. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. And I most definitely will see y'all in the next video. Remember you guys, sub what you love. Bye-bye.